Hi everyone, in recent videos we built this weather REST API which basically uses open weather third party API to get us back live weather data on a city that the user has passed. So let me quickly show you how this one works at the moment and if you are interested you can look at my previous video on how we build this. Let's go in our run configuration, let's run it. Okay so the web app has started, let's go to Postman, so we have our application listening on port 8080 and this is the path and we're passing Milan as the city. If I click send this is the result we get back. So let's try with a different city, London, uh, let's try another one, let's say Rome. So as you can see this is live data, we are passing a city name on this REST endpoint our application is listening to and then the application sends the request to open weather API, gets back a result, we trim down the result to just these two attributes and we send it back to the user. Okay, let's have this Spring Boot application running in a Docker container. So let's see how we can do that. So let's stop this and first of all, let's create a jar file. So I already created it here, but let's just create a fresh one. So if you go to Maven, Lifecycle, double click on clean. This is going to remove the target folder altogether. Now click on install and this is going to build a fresh jar with your executables. Okay, as you can see, we have our target folder and this is the jar we want to dockerize this. The next step is to create a docker file. So let's go to the root of our application, right click, new file, and you have to call it docker file. So in this docker file, these are the instructions you need. We need a base image. We're going to use Eclipse Temurin 17. And then we want to copy this jar over to a folder in our docker container. So we are going to use the copy command target and then we want to copy our weather app dot jar. Uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it weather app. So this is going to copy our jar onto the docker container. And now we want the command to actually run this jar file. So this is how this looks like. So we're going to be running a jar. And then we want to give the name of the jar with the path. So this is all you need in the docker file. This is going to create us an image first and then we're going to run this container. Okay, so let's open a terminal window. Let's make sure we are in the same directory where the docker file is. And now let's build an image using this command docker build minus t. Let's give the image a name. So I'm going to call it weather app. Okay, as you can see, this has built us the Docker image. So if you do Docker images, we can see the Docker image here, the one we have just created. Now we want to run this Docker image. So how can we do that? So it's a simple command, it's called docker run. We want the P flag, this is the port forwarding. We know that our application runs on port 8080. So on the right hand side, we're going to put the port that the application is going to be listening to in the Docker container. And on the right hand side, we're going to put the port that we will be calling from our local machine. So just to show you that the application will be running from the Docker container, I'm gonna port forward the port 8000. And then we simply need the name of our Docker image. So this one, weather app, let's press enter. And as you can see, because we did not run this Docker uh, container as a daemon, this is actually blocking our terminal, but I'll show you how to do it differently. So now we have our application running in the Docker container. On the Docker container is listening on port 8080, but on our local, as we said, we are going to forward to port 8000. So if I call this port, this is failing because there is nothing running on this port. So we want to now change this to 8000. And as you can see, this has started working again. So let me just show you these results are coming back from the Docker container. Let's say we want to stop this. Uh, let's open a new terminal and then do docker ps to see the running containers. Let's get the container ID and then let's do docker stop. 
and container ID. If you go back to the previous terminal, this has stopped. Okay, let's say we want to run our Docker container in the background. What you need is this flag minus D. If you press enter, you'll see that it's going to return you this hash, but it's not going to block our terminal window. So this is now running in the background. Just to show you that it's actually running, let's go back here. Uh, so again, port 8000. And this is the result coming back from our application running in the Docker container. So now we can see this is running. And if you want to stop this Docker container, you just use Docker stop. And now let's check if there is anything running. Nothing is running. We can go back to Postman and confirm this. As you can see, everything has stopped. So this is quite simple. Building a Docker container from a Spring Boot application is quite simple and straightforward. I hope you found this useful. If you have any issues, just leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful to reach your goal. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it allows me to keep creating more and better content for you, all completely free of charge. See you on the next video.